Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Disgaea 5 Complete. Now, let's go ahead and get back on track for story. No, I did not mean to click that. Thank you. San Kano, we were just about to fight Goldion himself. You're here, warriors of the rebel army. Let me pay this much back, Goldion. Goldion? What are you talking about? My name is Bloodus. It is a most excellent name that I received from Lord Void Dark. As we suspected, he is being brainwashed by Void Dark. So, now how shall we approach this? We'll eliminate the lost soldiers. Everyone else, attack Demon General Bloodus and wear him down. Roger, Blitz. And for the final blow, Killian and Zoroki will perform their combo skill? Red Magnus doesn't quite get it. But we just have to bring it to Bloodus, right? Well, that's basically correct. Killian, Zoroki, are you two ready? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, leave it to me! All right. The last showdown. Let's end this quick. So I got to keep Killian Zoroken alive for this one. Hmm. Let me think about this. Clouding him a little bit. Kashi, round up that side. I want to have some support with Evangeline and Dracula. Mostly because his splash damage is way too useful. sure how I'm going to reach you up there, kid. But I'll come back for you. For now, I'm just going to get everybody where they're supposed to be. I could form a tower. That's what I should do. Here they come. Cloud here, like toss Dracula all the way up there. Now, this should do nicely. My other side. What? How did I miss? My other side. There we go. Much nicer. I'm gonna take Kilia, throw him all the way up here. Protect from the side. Let's move you up here. 
Same thing as Roken. Alright, and Satsuna 1 gets picked up by Satsuna 2 and thrown forward to defend the team. How did the mage not die? Can I still hit you from here? Nope. Hmm. Oh, I can make Dracula a giant. That'd be a good idea. Nice card. Alright, revenge mode. Another protect. Mega Ice. Thousand piercings. Missing and no damage. Alright, I'm just tanking all of it. That's fine. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Can I do this with you? You're not gonna hit anybody else, though. You're just standing in this. Okay, whatever. Just hit Faye. The problem is. The nature of his character makes it so I can't actually just have him standing next to somebody else, too. Alright. I'll show you what a real version of that looks like. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, so let's turn with that. I kind of want to throw Evangeline to the other side. That'd be a terrible idea. But doing this would be a better idea. Alright, hold on. Lift, pick up, throw. That way, there we go. This is a good idea. Alright, so now I can have Evangeline do her thing. Elemental device. Goodbye. All four of you die. Hitting hard. Delicious. Goodbye. Cyclone Claw Gloomy Tears. Okay. Well, you should be dead. Alright, as for you. Uh, gotta be careful with that splash damage. Yep, 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 that's cute. Thousand piercings. Delicious with all those crits, though. Oh, here comes Bloodus. Molly Wapped. Molly Wap him, too. Thank you. Alright, gotta get. Dracula ready for blood is too. Okay. Dark Rosario. Take this. Okay. Hmm. Losing out those squares is not that fun for Bloodus. Because I can only move one square at a time. But I can still do stuff like this. Out of range of friggin' Come on. everything that's important right now. Alright. I did a hefty amount of damage though. Double critical. Double defense down. That's important. That's important. That's fine. That is A okay by me, actually. Oh man, here it is. The stupid one square garbage. Gal had shield. Purgatory Palm. 
Boulder Crush. I actually probably should have done that in reverse order. So, Boulder Crush. Galahad Shield. And Purgatory Bomb. My other side. Oof. That's 2,500 damage. Delicious. But now that protects everybody else. That didn't actually do that much. But you also do very little to me. Another one of those? Do you not get that you're about to lose here, buddy? Like, that spell alone right there is gonna kill you. Oh, double miss. Oh boy. Alright. You're still dead, buddy. You are pretty good. Goodbye, Demon General Bloodus. Two characters have surrendered. Why? My body won't respond the way I want it to. As the result of his brainwashing, he has even forgotten about his old scar. How fortunate. Kilia, Zorokin, now's your chance. Gotcha. Let's go, Zorokin. Ultimate demon technique, final skill, Avidia Holy Water. Zorokin, why'd you let him do it by himself? I, it. I can't do it by myself. Zorokin. Come on, Zero. To me, bro. Uh, whatever. It's too late to turn back now. I don't care anymore. Let's go. Master, Goldion, the great demon fist. Please wake up with this. Ultimate demon technique. Final skill. A video holy water. Oh. Is that it? Hey, Zero! Stop with the super jokes! You're supposed to finish him off here! Hey, he did say he was trying to perfect the technique. Y'all can't even front. Christo, our plan failed. Let's retreat. If that's the final technique that we were expecting, then we have no choice. All right. Retreat. Damn it! I'm such a... I'm such a... At this time, Demon Emperor Void Dark had effective control of over 70% of the entire Netherworlds. Even Explocution, after fighting unaided against the Demon General, fell at this time. The damage caused in the region of Explocution was never officially counted, but later historians believe over 10 billion Netherworlds fell in its wake. Ultimate demon technique, final skill, misfires, and Zorokin is left in tears as he runs away from the rebel army in disgrace. Goodbye, Zorokin. While wandering the netherworld alone, he is recruited by an overlord from a different dimension. He winds up in the location where carnage gathers. The training is severe, but Zorokin doesn't give up. That regrettable moment when he couldn't unleash the skill motivates him to move forward. As he trains, he regains his confidence. After defeating many overlords during training, they call him the Major Majin. Zorokin bounces back and beyond, then returns to the rebel army that is still fighting Void Dark's lost army, and annihilates them. After becoming a hero in a single night, he leaves again without even celebrating, saying that he will defeat Super Overlord Ball. Wow! I'm so cool! Next time on Legend of the Galactic Zerobe, Episode 8, The Beginning of a Legend. Everyone up, we're going! Huh? We're really doing this? What 
in the human world are you doing? I can't believe you misfired that final skill when you had the perfect opportunity. And you were so confident. You got Red Magnus's hopes up for nothing! Indeed. Miraculously, we were somehow able to escape. But we easily could have been annihilated. He literally said he was still perfecting that technique. Come on, don't all gang up on him like that. You're going to make Sorokin feel pitiful, Clint. That is nobody's fault that you guys jumped the gun on that plan. Sorokin, it seems like you know the reason. I'm sorry, bro. I... I'm not actually Goldion's apprentice. Now that's just worse. Episode 8, Past Struggles, Part 2. Thanks, Zeroken. Here I am standing up for you, and you're like, Oh, well, sorry, I lied this whole time. I used to be a member of the Lost. What? Zero! You're one of the Lost! You lied to us! Calm down, Red Magnus. I love to fool people, but I hate when somebody fools me. Please, give me every last detail. Don't get me wrong. I'm no longer with the Lost. It's not easy to leave the Lost, Clint. Something big must have made you want to quit. Yeah, a lot of things happened. The reason I joined the Lost was simple. I didn't have any other way to survive. The Lost destroyed my home world and forced me to choose whether to obey or die. Ultimately, I chose to obey, and they gave me the task of taking care of the prisoners. I was able to stay alive, but I didn't have any hope. I lived without hope every day. Then, one day, I met my idol, Goldion, the Great Demon Fist. He lost a fight with Demon Emperor Void Dark, and his ribs were severely injured. But I just couldn't believe it. I thought it was weird that Goldion could have lost. As a caretaker, my priority was to heal his wounds. I was with him every day, taking care of him, cleaning out his wounds and replacing his bandages. That's when I noticed that his wound wasn't new. It was an old scar that had opened up. I fed him his meals until he recovered enough to freely move around. He didn't talk at first, but as time went on, he eventually opened his heart to me. It was like a dream come true, getting to talk to my idol. Every meal, every time I changed his bandages, I asked about the ultimate demon technique, and he always looked disgruntled. But I seriously wanted to get strong, so I told him I wanted to quit the Lost. Then he taught me one move, and then more and more. I understand. And then you used the skills you learned to escape the Lost. Yeah, something like that. Train at martial training can now be suggested. She chops now 60. Alright. Let's go talk to these people real quick. Hmm, I want to eat some curry, Plip. Usalia is daydreaming again. Every meal since yesterday has been curry. Is that still not enough? I'm already getting tired of it. Come on, don't say that. When you consider Usalia's condition, you can't complain. Usalia. Huh? I'm sorry, I was thinking about the impact the internet is having on society and the leaking of personal information, Plip. If you want to eat some curry, you don't have to hold back. I don't want you to go berserk on us. I I'm alright, Plip. I won't cause you any trouble. And Gilia, you don't have to make so much curry for me, Plip. Are you sure? Since you saw you as being so nice, let's eat something else for dinner today. Alright then. A fluffy rising dragon bowl. Hmm. Which I'll pour on top of curry. Aww. I give up. Let's just have curry. Let's get these treasure chests real quick. I want to get that one. Thank you. Is there one over here? Maybe? No? I know I saw one around here somewhere. 
Where was it? Where was it? I saw it. Okay. Right over here. Right next to Captain Meaver. Is there a third one? Maybe. Let's go see. Okay, so it's up there. That's a problem. Hit. Hit. Got it. Ooh, Metal Slasher. Let's see. Is that any good for you, Draki? Probably weaker. A lot weaker. Oh man, so much weaker. Alright, not any requests. Anything new? Are we friends? Recruitable, the bear. Well, that's easy. Just give him some old muscles. So, let's go knock the bear real fast. Yep. Dietitian, dietitian, dietitian. Alright, there we go. And now we got the bear. Where would you like to go, dude? Hey, that Goldion guy is calling for you. Kilia, if you don't call him master, then he'll scold you and make you do a thousand push-ups again. <laughs> I won't call him master. I'd rather die. <sighs> it's no use. Oh, Kilia. Do you know the name of this flower? I couldn't care less about the names of flowers. This flower is called a Lise. Lise? Yes, it's the same as my name. <laughs> That's the first time you've actually said my name. No, I just... I love this flower. I would spend every day simply staring at it forever if I could. If you like it that much, then you should just take it with you. <gasps> what are you doing? Huh? Do you have any idea what you've just done? This flower was a lie! Huh? Are you mad because I picked this flower for you? Then you shouldn't have a problem with this. What did you do? My overload skill, Alma Ice Sculpture. It can freeze anything in an instant, stopping time around it. How's that? Are you satisfied? Stupid! Stupid? This won't bring back the life that was lost. <laughs> this world is all about survival of the fittest. The strong take from the weak. That's the kind of carnage I grew up in. What's wrong with that? I see. That is why you're weak. I'm weak? You're calling me, who used to be the feared tyrant overlord Kilidia Weak? Yes. Those like you, who have a weak heart, will always be weak, no matter how strong they get. Heart? Don't be stupid. Demons don't have such things. No, we do. You simply don't understand anything. That is why you lost to my father. Lise, please wait for me. I'll get revenge. Then... What's wrong, Sir Kilia? You look like you're deep in thought. Nothing. I was just thinking of something. Sorry for dragging you down. No, it's not that. I was thinking about something else. Oh, by the way, I've located Demon General Bloodus. His location is... The Mobile Fortress Netherworld. Dark Testament. Dark Testament! That Netherworld is known for being the most brutal weapon ever, which has destroyed many other Netherworlds, Flip! <laughs> that is super excellent! The strongest Overlord versus the most brutal weapon! Red Magnus will show him who's boss! Zorokin, I'd like to teach you the final skill. You're gonna teach me, bro? I myself haven't mastered it, but I'm gonna teach you everything Goldion taught me. I'll only be mimicking him, but it's worth a try. Okay, I won't let you down, bro. Please, teach me the final skill! Alright, you're probably missing the same thing I am. 
What could that be? The final skill is very powerful, and it can wipe out all maliciousness. It's a supreme ability. Because of that, it requires something very important. Heart. Her heart? Yes. Someone taught me that. Heart. Huh. All right, the last mole fortress. Hold on, before I go there, I did heal, right? Yeah, I did. Where would you like to go, dude? So, this is Dark Testament. I see. It certainly lives up to its reputation for being the most brutal weapon ever. Its impact is more akin to a battleship than another world. I would like to have this. I didn't think we'd be able to get inside so easily. Do you think it's a trap? What is it, Sorokin? Bro. It looks like something's weighing heavily on your heart, too. I don't have any right to say this. But you won't be able to master the final skill like that. Weighing on my heart? I can't keep quiet about this any longer. Bro, everyone, please listen. There's something I have to tell you guys. You were still hiding more? It's not manly to not lay everything out in the open from the beginning. My... Does the person who is keeping the destruction of his own netherworld a secret have any right to speak on this? Yeah, she does have a point, though. Come on, everyone! Let's listen to Zorokin's tail play! The truth is... I'm not even an overlord. I knew that the second I saw you. Huh? Do you have to be so cruel? Is that all you needed to say? something more important to say actually I I saw Goldion turn into demon general Bluntus from beginning to end oh now that should be an interesting story let's hear more about that it happened after Goldion started placing his trust in me members of the lost started torturing him without waiting for his wounds to completely heal I was taking care of him, so I knew how badly they were torturing him. The Lost were trying really hard to make Goldion obey them, so they just continued his torture. But Goldion wouldn't give in. He withstood countless hours of torture for days on end. Hearing his heroic legends, Goldion was my idol. At that moment, I learned that his strength isn't just his power or skills. I don't know anyone who's as strong and dignified as he was. Goldion is known as being an overlord whose netherworld is inside his heart. After what I saw, I think I understand what that means. I wanted to become strong like Goldion, and he made me long for that once again. But... But what? Then, Demon Emperor Void Dark appeared. I see. So Demon Emperor Void Dark himself arrived and brainwashed him. I couldn't do anything. I wanted to stop him, but I was afraid of dying. And I just couldn't stop shaking. And then, finally, I couldn't watch anymore. So I ran away. That's natural, Flip. Even if you jumped in to try to stop it, you probably would have gotten yourself killed. No, that's just an excuse. I'm a worthless coward who didn't even try to save my idol. I just ran away. Zorokin, now I understand. But all that matters is what happens now, from here on. Do you plan to live the rest of your life blaming yourself? I don't want that at all. I don't want to live as a coward. And I don't want to die as one either. Then what will you do? I want to become a stronger man. 
I want to become stronger like Goldion. Then become that man. Huh? If that is what you want to be, then why don't you just be that? But you're saying that like it's so easy. Are you going to quit because it's difficult, Flip? At this rate, you're never going to be a strong man. No, I... I will become a strong man. All right, let's get this underway. So, let's see what we're up against first. So, characters thrown off the map leave the battle. Oh. Well, that's an interesting netherworld effect. Um. So, I'm assuming you guys are going to try to toss me. Oh, that probably means they're gonna try to hit me with moves that push me off the edge of the map, too, huh? Alright, that's gonna be a problem. Let's go! Hmm. I gotta be really careful Let's with this map. Cause I don't trust it. It's cute. But you did. Can I just grab you and throw you? Oh no, that's not okay. So I can just grab and throw people at a whim. Oh, here they come. I'll let them walk up to me because I'll just bop them on the head with Dracula over here. Yeah, come on. Join the party. That's cute and all. But... What I see happening... Is gonna be one of these. Goodbye. Move you over here. Some good splash damage. Yep, 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 yep. All that splash damage. Oh. Dracula, your class is so dumb. Bye. And bye bye. So I can just throw people off the edge of the map. Not enough. I won't be able to master the final skill like this. I'm going to repeat this again. You need to conquer your heart. It doesn't matter how much you train or battle. You have to conquer your heart, or else you'll never activate the final skill. My heart? Maybe it's impossible for a weakling coward like me. A weakling on top of being a coward? What do you mean, Flip? After I ran away, leaving Goldion to be brainwashed, I decided to fight the loss to make up for that. I wanted to make it up to Goldion. I wanted to get revenge against the Lost by using the skills he taught me. But in the end, I'm still the kind of guy who runs away from my problems, who abandoned my hero. Whenever I'm in a tough situation, I run away. I only fight enemies who are weaker than me. I'm just a helpless weakling. The one who's carrying on Goldion's will? Truth is... I don't deserve to do that. I think you're wrong. You have every right to carry on Goldion's will. What's that, bro? I don't want your pity. 
Zoroken, you saw me use the ultimate demon technique and boldly challenged me to a fight. During our battles with Bloodus, you risked your life to save us the first time and fought alongside us the second time. Didn't you do all of that for Goldion? Am I wrong? Your heart that thinks about Goldion, there's no question, it's real. Bro. Compared to me, you think about your master way more than I do. You can become an overlord who possesses a netherworld within his heart, just like Goldion. Bro, you really accept me as an apprentice brother? Yeah. Bro! Stop. Get off me. Hold on a second. That is mine. <laughs> that is mine. Spare him this one time, Flint. Despite what Kilia says, he's actually good at looking after people. It's hard to believe he's a demon. I agree. I can't believe any demon could be like this. But thanks to him, Zorokin was able to take care of what was weighing on his heart. Now, all we need is for Zorokin to overcome that and activate the ultimate demon technique final skill. Alright, let's see what's going on next. Mm, let me go heal first. Oh wait, we got an event going on too. Great. Let's fix you up. Heal. Let's see what's going on here. All right, you guys, be Red Magnus' sparring partners. Huh? Why are you suddenly talking about sweaty, stinky stuff from way up there? Don't you guys feel anything watching Kilia and Zero train? Now that you mention it, we're always relying on Kilia and Zeroken clip. I see. Red Magnus is telling us that we should also prepare for our battle against Bloodus. Huh? The Supreme One just doesn't like the fact that Zero is getting stronger. Oh, I see. We were dumb enough to admire him for a moment, Plip. Shut your mouth and just bring it! Yeah, Sarah, don't shoot me from behind without warning. <laughs> you never know where an enemy attack where an enemy will attack from. This is all just part of your training. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, even if it's just training, it pains my heart to shoot an ally. You say that, but you look really happy. Don't you think it's just about time for you to give up? D don't underestimate Red Magnus! He is going to become the strongest overlord! The Supreme One won't give up just yet! What are you doing? Just bring it! Uh, Alright, Clip! <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Red Magnus, please get a hold of yourself! How pitiful, you've been taking out Bot Child's punch. You aren't suited to be the strongest overlord. No, that could have been helped. Eusalia, because of her short stature, landed multiple critical hits to his private area. Oh no. Oh, Red Magnus. Oh, poor Red Magnus. Where would you like to go, dude? Okay, Zoroken, listen up. Goldion explained his final skill to me like this. You cannot activate the ultimate demon technique, final skill, Avidia Holy Water, if you have evil intentions. You have to get rid of all evil within you and release your innocent heart. That's when the final skill is complete. Release your innocent heart. Anger, hatred, doubt, desires. These are all impurities of the heart. I couldn't get rid of these evil intentions. But isn't it impossible for a demon to get super rid of all evil intentions and have an innocent heart? Red Magnus is right. If a demon had an innocent heart, then it wouldn't be a demon. My demons can have innocent hearts too. For example, take me and Sir Kilia. That's called a cluster of evil. <laughs> As you can see, Kilia, we demons are full of evil, Clint. Do 
you really think it's possible for us to release an innocent heart? It is possible. Goldiok was able to do it. A demon that surpassed demonhood. That was the great demon fist, Goldiok. <laughs> Yulia, you sound a little proud, Flynn. As you said, Usalia, we're full of evil. For a demon, possessing an innocent heart forces massive pressure, both mentally and physically. But overcoming that pressure activates an explosive energy with an impact that surpasses your own limits. That is the mechanism of the ultimate demon technique, final skill, of Vidya Holy Water. Zoroken, your feelings toward Goldion, there's no doubt they're coming from an innocent heart. Get rid of your evil intentions and face it with an innocent heart. Even if it's impossible for me, I know you can do it. Bro, get rid of evil, innocent heart. Get rid of evil, innocent heart. Get rid of evil, innocent heart. Great timing. Zoroken, your feelings toward Goldion. Release your innocent heart. I, I got it. Get rid of evil, innocent heart. Get rid of evil, innocent heart. Let's see, recovery 20, attack plus 50, yikes. All right, that's not good at all. Let's see. What to do? I'll just end the turn there. That's adorable. I do that. I do. Galahad shield. Perfect. He opened up the gate. That's just what I wanted. Because now, let's see, the question is, I just attack, you're going to die anyway. Bye. So you came all the way from over there to protect this man. Just get dunked on. Please. Let's just end the turn with that. There for a minute. All right, just go away. 
we're gonna make you leave. Thank you. Let's see, what to do? Uh, Draki boy. Dunk on him. Let's call that a turn. Oh man, how many of these guys are there? Let's see, what do we got left? Three, four, five, six, six, five? Alright. Finally, get rid of these guys. This is a long stage. I mean, the... The effect is definitely interesting, though. The whole... You toss somebody off the screen, that's it. They're dead. Can you not? Please? Like, holy moly. I think I got rid of all the... the uh... Whatchamacallits? The knights. Hopefully I have. Yes, I have. Knights are all dead. Now it's just killing the stupid imps. Enough with that. No more of that. We'll not be having that. Alright. Oops. Didn't mean to destroy that. Turn there. Yeah. Good night. You better start running. Oh, you just want to face death? Okay. I commend you for your courage. Die. How is that not everybody? Who's left? Oh, come on. I just have somebody left up there. You know what? No. Come on. I'm gonna step back for a minute. Where is it? I'm gonna use. I don't want to use the chocolate. I'll use the phone, I guess. And then turn there. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. Adorable. Yeah, you're just going off the stage now. Bye. I'm not in the mood for that. So, this is the biggest overlord in all the netherworlds. I was expecting more. He's just oversized garbage. You've wasted my time. Now, what should I do with you? He only looks like a dragon! He's nothing compared to a real dragon like you, Lord Boy Darkoink! See, since you have no chance of beating me, you've called for reinforcements. Too bad it doesn't matter how many of you there are. Death to the false dragons. Please wait, Oink! I'd like to remind 
Oh well, buddy. <laughs> well, there goes the secretary, but uh. Quake? Did he just explode the whole netherworld from here? That, bro? Don't get distracted by things that don't concern you. You'll never be able to get rid of evil like that. Focus. Uh, aye, aye. Get rid of evil. Innocent heart. Get rid of evil. Innocent heart. Here is your report, Lord Void Dark Meow. Who are you? I am here on behalf of my predecessor. Who died in that mess earlier? I, Duke Cat Saber, shall serve as your 86th secretary, Meow. He has killed 85 other secretaries before this. Okay. So, what's with that report? It's hard to believe, but according to this report, Demon General Bloodus is having some trouble, Meow. What? Bloodus is. Yes, he is currently battling the rebel army that has been rapidly increasing in force recently, Meow. Rebel army? They must have trained really hard to corner Bloodus like that. I got a bad feeling he's gonna show up on the battlefield now. But you know what? We're gonna have to save that for next time, guys. I might as well just get this event done now. The Mobile Fortress Netherworld Dark Testament. It's really cool. That was my first time seeing it. It's too good for the loss to have. Should we take it by force? Aren't giant battleships impressive, bro? No, not really. D you're joking, right, bro? Having lasers, drills, and giant battleships are the dreams of any man. That's such a stereotypical dream. What do you think, Red Magnus? Of course, the Supreme One thinks they're super impressive. Destroying a giant battleship is every man's dream. What a stereotypical bully. Well, there's another event. Okay. Where are they? Magnus, Zerokin, Usalia. Hey, Zero, are you still not able to do that Avidya, whatever it's called yet? It's a Vidya Holy Water clip. I'm doing my best, but it's hard to get a handle on it. At this rate, I'm starting to doubt whether you had any potential to master the ultimate demon technique. I mean, I can't use the final skill, but there's a bunch of other skills that I created myself. One of them is this move where I go supersonic and bust through any defense. It's the fastest move in all the netherworlds. Whoa, you've got a super impressive skill. All right, go one-on-one -on -one with the Supreme One. Uh, my head. You already know you're dumb. No! I don't know why, but my head hurts. I can't use my original skill since it puts too much pressure on my peripheral nerves. Are you alright, Plip? It's nothing, but I think I better hold off on using my original secret skill for a while. What's wrong, Zero? Just hurry up and bring it! He's not even listening. That's one of Red Magnus' main qualities. For your sake, you should forfeit soon. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. But alright guys, I will see you here next time, bright and early, on Let's Play Disgaea 5 Complete, where we go on and we figure out what's going on with the rest of uh, Bloodus' little crew there. Hopefully not run into Demon Emperor Void Dark on the way. Because I don't know if we're ready to handle that yet, but that'll be a thing we deal with. I'm contemplating possibly transmigrating these characters just to get them better stats now in preparation for you know future chapters but i will think about that one i'm not sure yet but either way guys it's been fun if you like today's episode go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed on top of that hit that little notification bell so that way whenever i drop a new episode you guys are automatically notified of when i do 
And other than that, guys, I hope you all have a great day. Go ahead and leave a comment in the description, in uh, the comments below. And I will see you here next time on Let's Play Disguise 5 Complete.